Welcome to video 204 of the County Health Department Nikon Eclipse E100 Microscope Introduction Series. This video is going to cover the daily use of the Nikon Eclipse E100. I'm Ashley Megalin. I'm a technical consultant for the Alabama County Health Department Laboratory System. First parts we're going to talk about are the parts of the microscope. On the left side of the microscope, you have a knob setup. This is going to be your adjustment or focus knobs. The largest of the three knobs here is going to be the course adjustment knob. This is going to be what you're used to using. The outermost knob is going to be the fine focus knob. And then the innermost knob is going to be a tension knob that adjusts the tension of this whole knob setup. This knob will also be very useful to you if your stage is sinking. You will be able to adjust the tension and make it a little bit tighter so that your stage does not fall. This is not a stage lock like it is on some other microscopes, so it will not stop your stage from going any higher than you want it to. It's just a tension knob. On the right side of the microscope, we have the fine focus knob. There is no coarse focus on this side, just the fine focus. Here we have the objective nose piece and the two objectives that are attached to this microscope. We have the 10x objective and we have the 40x objective. 40x objective has a blue ring, the 10x objective has a yellow ring. Whenever you are swapping between objectives, you always want to use this ring right here. You never want to grab the objective itself to move, to swap between the objectives. What will end up happening, if you do this consistently, over time the objective will get loose and then you have a chance of the objective falling off and getting damaged. And the objectives are the most expensive part of the microscope. Here, right underneath the objectives, we have the stage. And on the stage, we have the slide holder. This is spring-loaded, and it holds your slide onto the stage. Right underneath the stage, we have the condenser. This condenser is fixed. This means that it does not move around, and it cannot be taken out and replaced with a different kind of condenser. So it has been set at the factory by the manufacturer. This also means that you do not have to do color illumination on this microscope. I can hear you cheering now. You should never have to adjust the alignment of the condenser on this microscope. If it does get out of alignment, we'll have to have the vendor work on it. All right, also on the front of the condenser, you will see that there is a scale. There are some numbers here. We have 4, 10, 40, 60, and 100. These numbers coincide to the objective that you are using. It will open or close the iris inside the condenser to let or reduce the amount of light that comes through the condenser from the light source. So when you're using the 10x objective, you're probably going to get the best illumination if you put the condenser, set, set the condenser to the 10 mark. If you're using the 40x objective, you're probably going to get the best illumination if you put the condenser on the 40 mark. Over here on the side, we have the height adjustment knob for the condenser. So this lever right here will help you raise and lower the condenser underneath the stage. This is incredibly useful for increasing the contrast, the detail that you will be able to see through your eyepieces. So it'll help you be able to define the cellular element that you're looking at better. On the right-hand side of the stage, we have the travel knobs right here. These knobs are going to help you move 
the slide around on the stage. So when you move the bottom one, you can see that the slide holder is moving left to right. When you move the top one, you'll notice that the whole stage moves front to back. Now we're going to use our microscope. So you're going to want to turn your microscope on. Here's the power switch here on the side. And I'm going to put my slide on the stage. I'm going to move my 10x objective into place over the slide. And then I'm going to center the cover slip underneath my objective. At this point, you're going to want to look down underneath your stage at your condenser and set it to the 10 mark. Right here on the side of the microscope, you will see that there is a sticker. And this sticker says, Bino Photo. This slide right here adjusts whether the mirror on the inside is directing the light to the camera or to the eyepieces. So for daily operation of the microscope, you're going to want to have it set to bino for binocular. There's a neat feature about this microscope, and it is that the eyepieces will flip upside down. So that gives you a couple of extra inches of height to be able to look through and not have to bend over quite as far. So I'm going to adjust these eyepieces just like you would binoculars to adjust for the difference between my eyes, the distance between my eyes. Okay. Also at the end of each of the eyepieces is something called a diopter adjustment and this helps to adjust each eyepiece for the difference in the focus between your two eyes. So you may have one eye that's 20-20 and one eye that's 20-40. Well, that's, this right here is going to help you with that. So while you're looking through the eyepiece, you can slightly adjust this until that eyepiece is the most focused for that eye. Now we're going to use our systematic pattern of examination. And if you don't remember what that is, that's in the Alabama County Health Department Laboratory System Policies and Procedures Manual in the wet mount section. So we're going to scan the slide using um, a side to side motion, but it doesn't matter if you go left to right or up to down. That's up to you. So I'm going to start at the corner of my slide and I'm going to scan. And once I see something interesting that I need to get a better look at, I'm going to swap the objectives using the revolving nose piece and not grabbing onto the objective itself. I'm going to swap to the 40x objective. Now, I'm going to use the fine focus knob to adjust the focus ever so slightly. Remember that at this point, with the 40x objective in place, you should not use the course adjustment knob as you can damage the objective and you can break your slide. So we don't want to use that. When you have the 40x objective in place, you may also need to change the slide on the front of the condenser to the 40 mark to allow a little bit more light into your microscope. Now that I have seen what I need to see here on the 40x objective, I'm going to switch back to the 10x objective and I'm going to scan my slide a little bit more. To properly assess a wet mount slide, you will have to stop 10 different times and swap to the 40x objective. So ensure that you are looking at 10 high-powered fields to properly assess each slide. This concludes Video 2, Daily Use of the Nikon Eclipse E100 Microscope. Video 3 of the series will cover cleaning of the microscope. Thank you for watching.